Hi, this is David Cavanaugh. I'm talking about how to change filament on the ANET A8 today. For quite a while, this has been a real pain in the butt because you can see that the filament um, comes in from up here and then down behind here there's a hole um, that looks a lot like this that you have to get the filament into. And from the distance that you have to maneuver a, a piece of filament, it's very hard to get it lined up with the hole perfectly and get it to go in um, in order to go into the extruder tube. So what I've found is that I, I was able to cut the filament at an angle and then you end up with a little bit of a pointy piece of filament which has a much easier time finding its way in, into that hole and it's easier to do it blind without taking the fan off in the, in the heat sink. So first of all, this is PTG right now and I've heated up the, the hot end to uh, 115, or I'm sorry, 215 degrees. And so what I do is, when, I, when I'm taking this out, I just kind of start wiggling the filament up and down a little bit. Uh, that sort of gets me a, kind of a, a melted section of it. And then once I've done that a little bit, just pop it right out. And so then you'll see I have a, just a, a little stringy bit of filament at the end. But anyway, then it's out. And generally speaking, that tube that you see inside will be pretty free um, of obstructions. What's the worst is when you actually have filament that sticks out of here. Um, I don't know if I can demonstrate this pretty easily, but if you have a little bit of filament that's sticking inside that hole, it's really next to impossible to, um, to get another piece of filament started unless you go poking that down in. I just took out the filament generally doesn't leave you with the blockage. So, you know, you usually end up with a piece of filament that you're trying to like straighten out so that, it, um, you know, you got to warm it up a little bit with your fingers and, and get it so it's pretty straight. And so when you go poking it down in there, it, it ends up going straight down in, um, into the extruder tube. Um, so what I'll do is I'll take a pair of uh, cutters. This is these are pretty big wire cutters, but you can use little uh, um, nippers or uh, um, diagonal cutters, and then just cut the filament at a little bit of an angle. So it may not be super easy to see, but you end up with a uh, a little bit of a point on there, and then. I kind of I press down on on this, the release lever so that the, the the there's no obstructions there, and what I should be able to do is pretty easily find that hole down there, but I've got to pay attention to the bend that's in here, so I make sure I get the thing going straight down in there. There we go. So what's happened now is I, I just felt it like go in there and now I can I can feel it kind of pushing through into the extruder. And what we'll see down below shortly, yep, I see a big blob of plastic down here that's, that's pushed through. So once I see that, I back it off just a tiny bit so it doesn't ooze out too much. And then I'm pretty much ready to print. I can re-zero the um, mechanism and, and start printing. I also wanted to show something else that I, I bought and it's really been a, a huge savings um, time-wise. Um, so I have a, an electronics enclosure for all the like the main board and, and the MOSFETs as I've shown in another video I did. And the big pain in the butt is when you're trying to deal with a micro SD card and get that into the little slot and not drop it down into your electronics case and then have to take the cover off to fish it out. I find it much easier to deal with just an SD card because that's what I'm putting into my laptop anyway. So I bought an adapter that lets me put an SD card into um, the micro SD slot on the controller board so I can just put that in, it's it's, it's done. No, no fussing around. And then I'm, I'm able to go and and mount the SD card. Let's see if I can show that. Yeah, I don't think it's going to come out super on the video. 
basically I can I can mount the card uh, then I can select print and then I can tell it to print so now it's gonna spend a little time heating up the, the bed before it starts the print but anyway you get the idea all right thanks for watching hope this is helpful to some folks